Welcome back. As we celebrate black history, we recognize those unsung heroes working in West Michigan to create continued opportunities for our next generations. The hurdles remain, but solutions are within reach when it comes to addressing food insecurity and the multiple issues surrounding childhood hunger in our communities. Tonight, we introduce you to a man who stays connected to his West Michigan roots, looking to give a hand up instead of a handout. I grew up snapping peas and I grew up uh, helping her pick um, fresh, fresh fruit and vegetable out the garden. Growing up in Muskegon Heights, Rodney Savage learned early how access to good food and the lack of it had a direct impact on the overall health of the community. We had a lot of love, we had a lot of laughter, but there were many times when there may not have been enough to go around. As director of diversity, equity, and inclusion for the nonprofit Kids Food Basket, Rodney Savage seized on an opportunity to come full circle, looking for solutions to childhood hunger in his hometown and greater West Michigan. You don't know when you're nine years old, 10 years old growing up, what, your, what, what, what journey your life is gonna take you on and where you're gonna come back. But to be able to, to be a part of the solution and not a part of the problem, to be able to come back and serve my community, uh, yeah, that makes me sleep better at night as well, regardless if anybody notices or not, so. That recognition can be found in the growing need. Upon its founding, Kids Food Basket originally served 125 kids in Kent County. 20 years later, KFB serves some 10,000 meals to 60 schools in four West Michigan counties. Savage says the concept of providing so-called sack suppers are healthy alternatives aimed at providing a nutritional foundation. As the director of DEI, Rodney helped lead a series of focus groups and community listening sessions to emphasize that point. You're dealing with behavioral issues. You're dealing with all sorts of issues when your body and brain doesn't get the healthy food and nourishment that it needs to grow. In 2020, Governor Gretchen Whitmer created the Food Security Council to look into food insecurity in the state. The advisory group submitted its findings to the governor in a report last year, indicating that some 1.9 million Michiganders faced food insecurity, more than 552,000 of them children. It's not political. Uh, it's, it's not political at all. It's a moral issue of what's right and uh, making room and making space for, for, for everyone, to making sure everyone feels seen, everyone feels heard, everyone feels value in this, in this great country that we live in. For Rodney Savage, it's about nourishing a neighborhood without access, opening up opportunities within his own community, and waiting for the good results to grow.